Don't ask me. see here is the back side the brake rotor is wearing into the brake pad quite a bit. Front side's not doing that. The front side looks real nice. They have nice shiny area. The back side, this rusty area, goes up to about there. Hoping that's what our noise is. So for now we're putting it back together and buy some new rotors. All right, here we are again about a month later than the first time we tried. We're going to change the brake pads, rotors on both front wheels. And on the front left, we're going to change the wheel bearing. So let's see what happens. So a nice big jack doesn't go up or down anymore, so this is what we're stuck with using. It's got to be pumped about a million times. Okay, that's a good start. Mount Olympus, special Mount Olympus jack. Such a little size jack. <laughs> Put into use the Harbor Freight three ton heavy duty jack stands again. Yeah. It's a hot day out. 21. Wait, so they were already loose? Yeah, I loosened them with the oh. tire iron. <laughs> trying to keep my hands from getting dirty, but I might as well just give in. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Fingers dirty just from touching the socket. <laughs> Not sure what that was used for. It's all black. Probably for the Probably. <laughs> and this is what a wheel looked like in the back right. So, front side where the rotor is nice and flat, rear side we got a big groove in the rotor, grinding away at it.
these get left out in the rain. Oh, now rusty. Okay, so far we've been looking for 20 minutes for the half inch to quarter inch socket adapter because the Milwaukee impact will not remove those bolts. So not in any of the toolboxes. So now we're down to looking at different projects to see is it laying around on the seat. That ain't it. Yeah. That ain't it. Now I'm out here looking. Could be out here. Okay, we found it. It was in our Milwaukee bag in a pocket. So, there's our adapter. Let's hope we don't bust the bit. should be looking at something like this and what we just did was lined up those holes to the back side those star things come through here so yeah we should just be able to get that off Sockets are hot. Yeah. Oh. I think that'll look nice red. Go 
going back now. <laughs> Better come off. Selfie sticks, they're just awesome. How many phones have they broken across the world? Mine. Thankfully not this one today. Yeah, we're good. I can't pound from this side because we got that shield there. Here comes that one. Another, all right. This will do the trick. Let's try this. Half a squirt. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Full squirt. Oh, yes. And there's more left. Ooh. <laughs> Talk about bargain. We're going to try pounding off with the rotor bolts in because I noticed the rotor is moving a little. The rotor's moving a little as we pound. So we want this to be tight to this so all of our pounding impact hits the hub. Victory. I don't see a problem. I think let's just put it back on. Yeah, looks good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Notice any difference here? <laughs> oh. So this brake pad was sitting right there. This rusty ring was grinding that groove in it. That one, it won't happen. But we got new brake pads too. Even though these were new three months ago.
So these are torque to yield bolts. Got to replace them every time we take them off. Expensive. You know, I want that one guy. It's like 20 some dollars for this baggie of bolts. Yeah. Twenty-two foot pounds, and then after you hit that, you go a ninety-degree turn. So right now we're just slowly getting them seated. They're way up still, a long way to go. Torque time. We're at twenty-two foot pounds. Yeah, that's awesome. Can't hold it. I think I should torque them down after it's on the van. Yeah. Because I'm not going to be able to hold that to 22 foot pounds and then turn 90 degrees. So let's get this mounted. 20 minutes later, we we're looking up the torque specs for these T50s, and it took 20 minutes to find any information online. It was ridiculous. Found a lot of information about the outer bolts that hold the rotors on, 22 foot pounds and rotate 90, Ooh. but it was very hard to find this one, which is kind of dumb because in order to do the rotors, you have to take these off. So really, what kind of website tells you one but not both when you need both to do the job? So yeah, shame on you internet. Shame on you. Alright, so we're going to try not to drop our nice shiny new rotor and we're going to try and line it up here and get it put in. That's what I thought. Let's try it without lining that thing up first. And just try and seat it in here. And actually, we skipped a step. We got so much rust in here, we want to sand this a little bit. We got all our T50s hand tight here. I guess I lied, that one needs a little more. And then we're going to do 46 foot-pounds. Let's have some fun. We'll just go around the circle until they get snug. Torque these to 22 foot pounds and then rotate them 90 degrees. I think I might want an extension just to stay away from the van a little, but this is going to be fun because it rotates. sucks. It's not like we can put the wheel on the ground and do it because we'd be hiding behind the wheel. Yeah. We tried doing this on the ground, but we had the same problem. It moved on us. Okay, what if I put a pry bar with gloves? Protect the threads. Protect the threads. Ugh. 
I don't want to lay my head in that, so I'm removing this mat. Cranky, cranky. Still cranking. Still cranking. Magic. Something's not right here. Uh oh. I need a socket to go on it. It's broken. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. 21. <laughs> Why is it gotta be behind it? They should put it in front of it. Yeah. <gasps> oh. In front. yeah. It's so hard to reach. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Now I've like spun it around a million times. There can only be one way though. Yep. <laughs> I guess that's not the way. There. <laughs> I think it goes over the rotor, yep. Yeah, <laughs> you just spin it till it lines up. <laughs> <laughs> Try every wrong way first. Maybe <laughs> to get the right way. Why well, you torque so much? Well, I suppose if they figure you're torquing it to He-Man specs, <laughs> threadlocker ain't gonna do nothing <laughs> compared to 203 foot-pounds. <laughs> Click, click, come in. Yeah, He Man. He Man's here. Now we need the brakes. I need to get up, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. <laughs> Better subscribe. Big pants. Ooh, fancy A river of brakes. Okay. Gravel. When you're sweating, the gravel likes to stick to your skin. <laughs> Take down our caliper hanger. Great. Okay. It's all ready for someone's tuxedo. <laughs> Snack. Ooh. Snack. Snack. Oh, come on. Do not ingest. Oh, come on. Oh. Keep out of reach of children. All right. 
Don't put in your eyes. Yeah. It's gonna fall in your eyes, though. Mm. Takes out all the fun. Do not ingest. Does that mean you can put it in your mouth for a little while? <laughs> as long as you don't swallow it. Where does that garbage go? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all over the road. Or... Oh, muscles cramping up now. <laughs> It's because I didn't ingest this stuff. <laughs> Just put on the moving parts here. <laughs> Not the brake pad <laughs> itself, of course, but the, the squeezy part. Yeah. This must be that black stuff that was on that socket I grabbed at the beginning of this project four yeah. hours ago. <laughs> yeah, four hours ago, yeah. Threading in. That's always a good sign. Staring into the sun, I can't open my eyes. Starting. Mm. Closer. All right. Now we need to look for the Fig Newton number for these things. Uh, gotta eat three, three Fig Newtons. After another 15 minutes of searching the internet for the Fig Newton. Uh, foot pound torque spec for the brake caliper hanger. Couldn't find nothing. Nothing at all. F 150 for 2017 is uh, 27 foot pounds though. So we're gonna go with that. It's gotta be close. 15. Okay. We're almost done. Turn the wheel on. Um, spent another 10 15 minutes trying to search the internet for the torque spec for the lug nuts. Finally, had to get out the manual 148 foot pounds. So, we're almost done. Finally, at four hours, maybe five, I don't know. Not even shorter. Rust. Yep, rust. Pressure. Yes. Mount Olympus Jack. This thing is at 148. Is that a fun job? Mm. Absolutely not. That was miserable. Yeah, sucky. But we got it done. Now we just gotta drive off and make sure the wheel stays on, doesn't fall to pieces, and sounds nice. Yeah.
driving it down the highway here. Um, not really hearing any grinding noises, so I guess that's a good start. I guess time will tell. Because um, it wasn't always noisy, it would sometimes come and go, so we'll just have to drive it, see what happens. We didn't do the front right one yet either, so that'll be another day. This took at least four hours, and I'm totally exhausted, so that's enough for today. But yeah, let me go ahead and step on the brakes here as we come to our turn and make sure nothing's crazy. Brakes work good. All right, thanks everyone. Make sure you subscribe because that was exhausting.